Hi everyone! Cricut is rolling out Design Space Desktop App version 6.15 with some really terrific new features and I thought it would be fun to take a look at them. So in this video, we'll do that. Once your design space updates to version 6.15, you should see this pop-up screen about what's new. So first of all, they've listed background remover, which you probably already have. If you haven't seen it in action, you can find videos here on my channel and I'll show you how it functions and also give you a really fun idea of what you can do with it. We now have featured images on the home page. On the landing page, you have a new ribbon. It'll show popular images, fun images, and it'll be updated regularly. So there will always be new featured images. We have bookmark and saved categories or saved filter. These are really terrific. And right after I finish explaining, I'll show you how they work. Recover unsaved canvas. I love this idea. If you've ever been working in design space, you haven't saved your project and your design space crashes. Well, when you reopen it, you should return to exactly where you were on your canvas. You'll recover what you think you might have lost. And Cricut Design Space will now remember your window size. Every time you open Design Space, it will open to a size that you like to work in. So I like to work full screen. So now when I open my Design Space, it's automatically full screen. It's perfect. So these are all really fun features. Let's take a look at the new bookmark feature and saved filter. Here we are in Design Space landing page. And you can now see featured images right up at the top ribbon above my projects. I think this is a really amazing idea. I'm so thrilled with this. Cricut will be updating it with new images all the time. So you want to take a moment to have a look at them before you scroll on. You can now see this little flag at the bottom right of the images. If you click on that little flag, the image will go right into your save filter. So I can click on a bunch of these. You'll also notice view all. You can click on that, have it open, and you'll see all the current featured images or just scroll along the ribbon to see those. I love this turkey. Let's save that. The bats. Scroll again. Oh, the lollipop is cute. And I love this image. I wanted you to also notice that if you hover over the image, you'll see add to canvas. You can click on that and the image you clicked on will go directly onto your canvas screen. So let's remove that. Let's go to images. So as I'm scrolling through images, I see different things like this butterfly and I remember that I need to make a card and I'd like to use this butterfly I'm going to bookmark it so that I can find it easily again. And I continue to scroll and oh, this would be nice for my Thanksgiving projects. So you can do that, bookmark all the images that you like. And when you go over to your left toolbar, you'll now see a saved filter. Check that. And you'll see all the images that I've saved so far. Isn't this terrific? So let's see another way we can use this bookmark feature that's super handy. I'll click on images again. I'll go to all images and I'll select image sets. And it's absolutely amazing that Cricut is constantly adding new image sets to design space. I love them. But I find that when I'm scrolling through image sets, I'll often see something I really like I'd like to use it in the future, and I forget where I saw it. 
Now we can just click the flag, save the images we want to use in the future. And the next time we open Design Space, we can just click on the saved filter and we'll see those images that I've added from the image sets. Isn't that terrific? So I hope that you're going to enjoy these new Design Space features. I am. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks again.